What is up everybody? Today we are out on the lake and we are testing out the double drop shot rig. So stay tuned. Uh, here's what we're going to be using. All right, so for today's video, we are going to be drop shotting uh, for crappie. Now, tying a drop shot rig is very simple. Um, I'm just going to run over the quick basics of it. First, um, you don't necessarily need drop shot weights, but I bought a pack of these on Amazon. They're, they're reasonably priced, and for you know the ultralight rods that we're using for them, uh, you know these are the ticket and. You know, they're very easy to interchange. Uh, if you look at the rig I have tied up already, I just have a weight loop at the bottom so that I could, you know, if if need be, switch up or switch down to a lower weight or a higher weight. Uh, but real quick, here is the finished product. So we got our weight on the bottom. Now, depending on where you're fishing and how deep you're fishing depends on how you want to set up your drop shot rig. But my first hook is at about... 12 inches right here my next one if you keep moving up the line is about three i guess you'd say three feet from the weight now you might be thinking to yourself that's a very long distance you know a four foot rig in 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 total but if you are fishing for crappie like i am in very deep spots um that could be the difference in catching and not catching now what I'm going to be tying this rig for is what I'm assuming the fish are going to be sitting at, at those depths. Now, it's an easy fix. Let's say we get to the spot and the fish are a little bit lower than, uh, you know, our rig. All I'm going to do is just trim the top, you know, line and move my top drop shot hook down about a foot. That way we're at one and two feet. But for right now, I figure one and three is a pretty good area because we're covering a ton of ground with that, you know, span of line. But uh, for this rig, I'm going to be using VMC spin shot drop shot hooks. Now, you don't need to use drop shot hooks to drop shot fish, but the reason why I like these ones more than anything is they have a swivel built into, you know, right between half the hook. In fact, let me open this up for you guys. Um, actually, I'll show you the back really quick before I open So the nice thing about it is the swivel allows you to have freedom with the hook. The hook is constantly moving um, and it never gets hung up, which is very nice. Uh, it's su uh, super easy to rig. If you're one of those guys that doesn't like tying a ton of knots, I mean, you literally tie, you know, one your, your bottom line that has the weight to the bottom of the swivel and then your main line to the top. So, I mean, it's very fairly simple to set up, but real quick, we'll walk you through it. Let me get my line. Have a little bit of wind today I did come prepared um, what I'm gonna do I just took a test drift the first drift to see what the wind was doing and which way it would blow me um, that way I could mark some fish and then try and anchor on them but one of the biggest uh, you know issues when you're anchoring in wind like this is figuring out which direction it's coming from and adjusting you know the boat to that angle um I, i'm personally don't want to keep dropping the anchor you know down and uh stirring up the bottom 
I would love to drop the anchor once I have a decent pile of fish marked. And at that point, once I mark some fish, I'm just going to adjust to, you know, the distance that I would need to, you know, drop enough line back. Like right now, I'm, I'm marking fish right in this little 14 foot hole. Um, There she goes. See if. All right, so our anchor's set, man, and you cannot beat that with a stick. So we're gonna drop it right down. See if they're the depth finder is as accurate as. Oh man, as soon as that hit bottom, fish on. As soon as that hit bottom, fish on. And it's a crappie, a nice little white crappie on the drop shot rig. This is what we came for, brother. This is what we came for, for them white crappie on the diamond mist. Beauty to start the day. All right, man, we're gonna let this fella go. Just gonna get a quick video. Off he goes, pop it back down. That was like literally instantaneous, man. I don't even think that actually got to the bottom before something hit it. And we're just jigging it slowly off the bottom. All right, man, we are dropping the drop, double drop shot, eh, double drop shot down to the bottom. See if anything's hungry enough to bite. Oop, there's a little hit. There was a little hit. Oop, he dropped it. It was a good sign though. Got him, got him that time. Let's go, fish on. A little crappie, a little crappie on the double shot rig. Baby crappie, man. Look at that, beautiful fish. All right, we're gonna let him go. Now the beauty of this, the beauty of this rig, so I'm gonna drop my line down currently while I'm showing you this, all right? This is my depth finder currently. And if you notice, the fish are suspended off the bottom. Um, they're not directly on the bottom. Oh, that quick, I already had a hit while I'm trying to explain. So why I like this rig though, it keeps the bait in the feeding spots. Look at that fish on. You know, I got one couple feet off the bottom. Oh, that's the biggest one yet. Look at that. Oh, son, look at that paper mouth. Uh, got me a little wet, but that's not a bad size crappie right there. All right, we're going to just check our rig, and we're getting hits right now, just as we sit here. Fish on. Got him. Let's go. Let's freaking go, man. Another. Oh, it's a dink bass. I'm sorry, buddy. I almost mislabeled you. It's a little baby largemouth bass. I honestly thought that was a crappie because they both have the same color scheme. They got that lightish, light green color. But uh, the if you look at the difference between the white and black crappie, there is a substantial difference in colors. Um, I know they have similar patterns, but the white white crappie are typically much lighter in color. Depend on you know where you're catching them. Also depends on what they look like because I know in you know certain brackish waters where it's you know cedar water or it's a mix of brackish or I'm sorry salt and fresh water which would be brackish um, I do find that those fish are a little bit darker in color than uh, the ones you get out of a lake or even you know small streams but but anchors a lifesaver when you get windy conditions like we have today Getting little taps, nothing crazy. Got him, got him. Ooh, another bluegill. Back to the bluegills. For a while, man, it was all crappie and bass. All right, got him back in the water. Gonna drop our jig back down. Now that one was a little bit higher up. I dropped that one to the bottom and then reeled up a little bit. Because these fish, I mean, it, 
we're in 14 feet of water, but a vast majority of them are sitting in eight. And you know, the way our rig style is, we have a bait maybe a foot off the bottom and then one that's about three feet off the bottom. So what I've been doing is not going directly to the bottom since they're a little bit higher up and just kind of slowly bringing it up in the water column where they can see it. We're gonna drop her back down. We're, not, we're gonna start higher up in the water column and then work down. Got him. Oh, look at that. Look at that, son. That guy was... Oh, man, another another little bass, little dinky. Man, this drop shot rig works for everything. Bass, bluegills, crappie. I mean, he's a little dink, but... Still better than nothing, man. We're gonna drop it back down right there. So they're eight feet, they're in eight feet of water right now, but we're fishing 13, so I'm trying to drop it to the bottom and then kind of slowly work it up into the feeding column. Oh, son, oh my God, oh my God. Whatever that is, is big. Do you see that? That literally hit like a banshee. I'm over here looking. Oh my God. I think that might be a big catfish. Holy moly. Holy moly. That thing just almost took my freaking rod in. Oh my, yep, big old cat. Look at that freaking catfish. Whoa, 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 easy, easy, fella. Man. I mean, geez, Louise. That thing hit like a banshee. Look at that catfish, man. Beautiful looking cat. We're gonna let that guy go. All right, we're dropping her down. Ooh, that quick we're getting little taps. Oh, son, that was a good hit. Tried to take it and go. Drop it all the way down again. There he comes back, he came back. Got him that time, got him that time, baby. He got a little too stingy. Whew. Little gill. Beautiful little bluegill. I'm gonna drop it back down. Yeah, every time we sway, the wind's kind of swaying us back and forth over top of the hole. And I mean, there's definitely fish here, that's for sure. Because I mean, as soon as that gets to the bottom, we're having hits. I mean, like right there, we're getting hits. That feels like a little gill. I'm trying to wait for the crappie or something else. There's some hits again. Got him, got him. Definitely felt bigger. Big gill on the double drop shot, man. I gotta take this. Got the bobber stopper for a. It's stuck on the hook. All right, we're gonna get that double drop shot back down. Seems like we had, we've been having more success by bringing the line up in the water column opposed to, you know, just going all the way to the bottom. Um, we have been catching fish on both sides though of, of the water column. We've had some fish on the low end and then some up in the high end, but definitely seems to be a little bit better higher up currently. At least that's how it seems. We're getting little taps, but nothing I don't think that's worth setting on yet. Nah, yeah, there's like little tap, tap, taps. We're waiting for the big, big boy to come.
There we go. Got him on that one. Yeah, that crappie was just right under the boat, man. I was literally a couple feet down on that one. Maybe five feet down, if that. Little, little beautiful white crappie. But nevertheless, we got him on that top hook. And we're really not going far down, man. Like, I literally just stopped it. You could, on probably a clear water lake or river, you could probably see your bait. But where I'm fishing, the water clarity is not great. So I can't really see, you know, a couple inches down, which is kind of crazy. You know, the last few big fish I've had, I'd have them up to the surface. They'd be probably two feet down, and I still couldn't really tell what they were just because, you know, the water here is very dirty. Getting little taps again. Waiting for the big boy. Got him. Whoa, son, son. This feels like a bigger fish. Oh, and he spit it. And he spit it. Boys and girls, I just realized I made a huge critical mistake. Um, when adjusting my camera about 10 minutes ago, I accidentally had it on the time lapse video for the last 10 or so fish. So uh, a lot of you know the videos I just shot are going to be warp speed. So I'm going to have to look into uh, how to hopefully convert them back to a normal speed but um, big mistake on my part but hopefully it all works out We're dropping it back down we are seeing some fish uh, slightly off the bottom I want to say they're five feet off the bottom so we're gonna not go directly down I'm gonna try and hit them in the water column that they're sitting in got them got them let that let's go Feels like a nicer fish. Another gill. Another blue gill. All right, let's get this guy back in. All right, we're gonna drop it right back down because we are still marking fish right here. Hopefully there's something other than those little blue gills because we've had a ton of them today. But like I said, they're not directly on the bottom, so I'm gonna try and keep my bait, you know, in the column that they're feeding on. Oh, there's a little bit of a hit. Let me try and paddle backwards a little bit, kind of keep me right on top of that spot. Right, right there. They're like just right off the bottom. Got him, got him, suspended up. Oh, bass, another dink bass. Dink bass on the Bobby Garland. Have to use the pliers. 
Yeah, a little dink. Not bad. I'm gonna drop it back down. Because we were just right on top of them. While that line's dropping, I'm gonna try and back right on top of them. If we keep getting fish every drift like we are right now, ooh, just missed them. Uh, we might have to anchor this spot. Got him. Let's go. Got him. There we go. Another beautiful white crappie on the drop shot rig. Son, look at that. Now, I wouldn't say he's a slab, but it's a beautiful white crappie. Let's drop it back down, see if we can't get another one. Man, we are just marking us. It has to be a crappie because they're just suspended right off that bottom like that. Just gotta keep the bait up a little bit out of that. Right on top of that water column. All right, just uh, paddled back over top of where we just were. Now I'm just trying to bite the wind. It keeps wanting to spin me, but I believe we are right back on top of the hole. We'll find out very shortly. I'm dropping it right down. Let's see if anything's feeding right where we are right now. Oh, there's a hit. There's a fish. Let's go. Son. Big old gill. Son, look at that. It's like king gill right there. It's a chunky looking gill. I'm going to drop it back down. It's almost like rapid fire because I got to drop, drop the line down quick enough before we blow off the spot again. I am thinking about setting the anchor again, but... Oop, there's a hit. Got him. Got him that time. There we go. Man, another gill. On the double drop shot. He hit the little baby shad. Alright, so we just repositioned the kayak. Um, had to throw the anchor back out just because we were just moving around way too much so and marking some fish uh nothing crazy as of yet but we'll see oh there's a hit as i say that and that that's a fish right there as i say there's nothing yet another gill another blue gill thank you on the double drop shot all right, so we're dropping it back down. We've had uh, had some success today. Still kicking myself over filming half of this in uh, hyper speed, but nothing I could do about it now. Oop, there's a hit. Got him. There we go. Got him. Man, double drop shot rig. Strikes again. Nice little bluegill. All right, we're going to drop it back down. We are starting to mark some fish again, which is a great sign. For a minute, I was starting to lose a little bit of hope. Um, so far, we've had... Oh... I was gonna say four species and here's another one. Look, oh, that's what we want right there. Oh, ho, ho. lost them at the boat. It was a white crappie though. That's what we want. Um, we've had four species so far today. Catfish, bluegill, white crappie, and largemouth bass. Um, right now, the main objective is, there we go, crappie. We wanna catch as many white crappie as we can, but today, these guys seem to want to steal the limelight from them. Uh, it's kind of nuts. Last time I came fishing here for uh, white crappie, we uh, we ended up catching a ton of them. 
probably the most crappie I've caught in a while. And we had one huge largemouth bass and a handful of bluegills, but I mean, today has just been bluegill after bluegill after bluegill, and then a couple crappie here and there mixed in with you know a few bass and then a few uh, catfish. All right, we we're dropping it back down. We have had some moderate success today with the uh, double drop shot rig. Fish are definitely biting. There we go. That's a nicer size fish. Oh man, look at that sun. Oh, uh, hopefully we don't lose this guy. Look at that freaking, that's a slab. That is a freaking slab, baby. That's what we came to catch. Just beautiful, thick, white crappie. All right, man, we're gonna let this beautiful little slab go. Hopefully there's more down there just like him. But uh, all we've been really doing is just dropping it straight down, letting it hit bottom, and then just slowly jigging it. Just because the, the uh, what are they called, Bobby Garlands, what we're using, they have like that little, uh, little tail. Doesn't need much, man. Just needs a little bit of a flip. When you flip it, it just, I guess, triggers a bite out of them. Um, the color we're using today is diamond mist. Looks very similar to, you know, a lot of small bait fish that are probably lurking in this area. Um, so these fish are seeing it and they're thinking we're getting a free meal on a little bit of a minnow. Um, got him, got him. Let's go. Another gill. Ugh. Hey, look at this. He does not want to let it go. Literally inhaled that. I am dropping it <clears throat> back down. We just had a hit. I am seeing fish, man. It's crazy. There's, they're as low as, you know, a foot off the bottom and as high up as like two feet from the surface, which, I mean, it's just a big ball of fish. I don't know what it is because we just anchored on them. Um, fish on we're gonna find out very shortly what's down there for at least one of them another gill man man look at that freaking blue gill hopefully there's some uh, crappie mixed in with them but I mean geez Louise they are on today I thought I'd you know did well with the bluegills last week this is like blowing that out of the water Got him, got him on the jig. That feels not like a bluegill. That feels like something else. Oh no, it's just a giant bluegill. Holy moly, look at this slob. Look at that freaking slob, man. That's a bigger gill. All right, man, here's the official last drop of the day. You hate to have to say it, but we uh, unfortunately have ran out of time today, but Hopefully we can end the day with a fish. Yeah, it's kind of weird, man. They're like just off the bottom. Looks like there's, we're in 13.7 right now and the fish seem to be congregating in about eight foot, eight foot of water. Oh, got him, got him, suspended up. All right, man, we're finishing the day with a nice size gill. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video, man. As always, clip, uh, click subscribe down below and uh, have a great day.